Motor vehicle crashes, the second leading cause of death for teens in the U.S. Fox 10's Gianni Navarro shows us how different safety organizations are trying to get kids to be more responsible behind the wheel. Deal with the driver. Driving can be an exciting time in a teenager's life. <laughs> But one bad decision behind the wheel Do you know why I can be costly. Crash and fatality statistics of young drivers are increasing. The Your Keys to Drive Coalition of Safety Organizations is working diligently to teach teens across South Alabama how to be safe on the roadways with a teen driver summit. Three kids were immediately killed. Mike Lutzen Kirkin is not only the keynote speaker, he's the father of former Auburn football star Philip Lutzen Kirkin, who lost his life in 2014 after he got into a car with a drunk driver. Lutz and Kirkin hopes that Phillips' mistake can help students build the courage to get out of situations that can put them in danger. The courage to have the difficult situation, a conversation with their friends when the friend says, see how fast you get this car going on, on 10. Uh, hey, we, let's go to the beach. Nobody knows we're going to be drinking there. Um, no, I'm not going to wear a seatbelt even though it's a state law. Uh, that they're going to have the courage to tell their friends we're not doing that. In a safe way. To help students understand how their driving habits and behaviors can influence their future, they were split into groups, going through different lessons and simulations. One of those. Oh, the behind-the-wheel driving simulation. Students experiencing what it's like to drive while distracted. I thought it was pretty valuable. I mean, it lets you learn that, I mean, it's really hard to text and drive and put in perspective how hard it is to focus on one thing and also drive. We're going to put these on. So. At a different session, students experiencing the effects of being under the influence with special goggles. The line, it was crooked in the glasses. Sophomore Colton Henderson says he takes this exercise very seriously after he lost someone he loves to drunk driving. Three months ago, I lost my brother to drunk driving. Teenagers are still going to drink because they're teenagers, uh, but um, if they do, I want them to be at a house, preferably at their house, and I want it to be controlled. You barely can see it, though, can you? Outside, students learning how to safely share the road with tractor trailers, climbing into the big rig, discovering just how difficult it is to see from these large vehicles. I cannot see that car. I can see them cars. I can only see that one way. Little sign right there, and I can see that little condo, that little condos right there. And I ain't seen none of them call those right there. Students say they plan to take what they learn and apply it to real world situations so they don't end up as another statistic. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Gianni Navarro, Fox 10 News.